Okay, first I'll tell you what, what we've got here. This is a carbon arc lamp, which has these two carbon rods, which I can control with these knobs. And when I bring them together with a high voltage on there, them, it strikes an arc, then I can back them off and maintain that arc. The arc gives you lots of light, but it also gives you lots of UV, which is what we want for this demonstration. Uh, we're shining that, that UV on this object, which is a gold leaf electroscope. If, it, if we put voltage on it, the leaves uh, uh, repel each other because light, light charges repel and, and, um, and they spread apart. So if I bring up a charge thing here, woo, there they are going apart. For our experiment, we want the gold leaves to be charged negative. I'm gonna bring this up close, touch that plate, bring this away. And now I've got not the charge that was on this disc, but the opposite. Now, why do we want that negative? We're gonna shine UV light onto this piece of zinc, which I polished with a, a piece of steel wool to make sure all the oxide is off of it. The UV light is going through, through the photoelectric effect, is going to knock electrons off of this plate. The, the electroscope is charged negative, so the electrons will be repelled. So the charge that was on the electroscope will slowly die down. It was charged up negative, and we're going to see the leaves of the gold leaf electroscope on the door there, uh, just shadow projected from this bright light. Now, can you see the leaves? Can you see what we're going down? They're not here, but you hear them go down, 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 down. To show you that it's the UV that's doing that, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repeat the experiment here, charge it up again, except this time, I'm gonna put a piece of glass in between the UV and the piece of zinc. So I'm gonna turn on the light. Boom. There are the leaves going down. Stick in the piece of glass. There's, there's the leaf right there, not moving. Watch that spot. As I pull the glass away, down it goes. Stop it. So what is up here? Now it's down here the electroscope is discharging when I pull the glass away, right now. Mm -hmm. Why the glass? When we turn on the light, the leaves look just the same with the glass as, as without the glass. But what, there, what happens when we put the glass is it, is it blocks the UV. But the white light gets through just fine, the visible light, so it looks the same to us because we can't see the, the UV. But it knocks out all the UV, no more photoelectric effect, no more discharge of the electroscope. And it's uh, and it emphasize here, the only way, that, the reason we go to this elaborate thing to, to show you the photoelectric effect this way is that we can't come up with any other explanation of why this electroscope would discharge unless light was quantized, unless it was in little packages that could knock electrons out, out of that metal. We can't imagine a way that a wave, because we, we have plenty of indications that light is a wave, but we can't think of anything that would <coughs> have this wave concentrate itself down on one atom and knock an electron off of it. But, so this is a big evidence that light is quantized, that, that, that there are, are photons uh, that, that are powerful enough to knock electrons out of atoms.